This video is a follow-up to my last video on uh, refurbishing used parts or getting a machine for rebuilding. Um, one of the things you might be tempted to do is skimp out on uh, paying for magnafluxing. But um, let me show you what magnafluxing just found on these heads. Uh, what you're looking at here is uh, two Vortec V6 heads. This one here in magnafluxing, there's a crack there, crack there, and crack right there. These are between the exhaust and the intake ports. Let me see if we can get down there closer and see the actual crack. So, what magnafluxing does, you can see it crack right there at the tip of my finger. There. Um, and then there's another one right there. You can see it better on this side, right about right there. And then there's another one down here. So we see it. We flip it around. Yeah, you can barely see it, but right in, right in there, right there, my finger down. So, anyway, Magnafluxin uses an iron powder, and they put a magnetic field on the uh, head. And uh, there's other videos on how it's done, but basically, it finds cracks and steel that you probably wouldn't see with the naked eye. So that head right there is trash. Um, here's another one. This is the pair that went with it, and there's a crack in this one. You see it right there. Right, I'm just gonna not block the light. Right there, tip of my finger, right through there. So that's cracked there. So this one's bad too. All right, so that's the V6 heads. These are Vortec V8 heads, and the only crack they found on these are there's a crack right there, and it's in the, it's between the water jacket and the bolt hole. There, and there's another one. You see this one pretty good. Right in there, and that powder makes the crack kind of stand out so these two vortex v6 or excuse me v8 heads are cracked also um, personally I'm not sure if they couldn't be run because if the water leaks from this jacket into that hole the water's not going anywhere it's going to come down it would, it would hit this, the head gasket would keep them going anywhere here and it would just run to the, the bolt threads which wouldn't hurt the thing and on the top the head of the bolt would seal the top of the hole so it wouldn't go out there either so I'm not sure these cracks are a real big problem, but the machinist says that he wouldn't run them. So, and this is for somebody else's motor, so I'm not going to run them either. So, um, these heads here, gonna, I'm going to return them to the owner so he can find some more. So, uh, these heads here are mine uh, from a core engine I bought, and so they're they're going to be uh, used for wheel shocks to keep wheels from rolling away. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what uh, magnafluxing found, and uh, if you're tempted to skip out on magnafluxing, you run the risk of uh, building an engine with cracked heads, especially Vortex heads. Vortex are, are known for cracking, so just thought I'd show you the results of uh, magnafluxing and uh, why you need to get it done every time you rebuild a motor.